Worldliness. That system headed by Satan that leaves God out. Satan wants to distract us from our relationship with God by using the structures and the value systems of this world to detach us from a living, abiding intimacy with the Lord. God makes it clear that worldliness creates a breach in our relationship with Him, even as Christians. That God is a jealous God, and He wants an exclusivity clause over our life. How do you know if you're worldly? That means you're operating, you're living in conflict. Conflict with yourself, conflict with others, and most importantly, conflict with God, since to love the world is to become an enemy of God, even if you are a Christian. In light of that, God wants us to recommit ourselves to an exclusive relationship with Him, because only then will we experience more of Him. We can get more grace, that is more divine favor, more answered prayer, more intimate connection if we will disconnect ourselves from worldliness. Now that does not mean disconnecting yourself from being in the world. It does mean disconnecting from the world being in you or being in me or being in us. In other words, not letting the value systems that leave God out become our value systems or determine our decision making. The reality is, if we have a relationship with the world, we don't get the benefits of our salvation with the Lord. So if you want the benefits of that, you have to say no to the value system, which is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, which is all fake news. It's a fake culture, this society, when it leaves God out. You can get an outline of the sermon and additional scriptures for you to review by going on ocbfchurch.org forward slash study guide so that you can review the principles from the book of James and let them seep into your mind and heart and continue to grow in grace and the knowledge of Jesus Christ.